So I was called to clone this ECU, this Jeep ECU. So with this one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the EEPROM. I've read the original already, so I'm reading the EEPROM of the donor ECU. Then I'll write the original onto it. Uh, because I tried changing it from the vehicle, uh, it wasn't giving me access to do that. And I don't have my cloning tools with me. So mostly if the flash is corrupted, it might affect the other one that you are cloning. So I prefer doing only the EEPROM. When you do only the EEPROM, it doesn't affect. The EEPROM contains security data like VIN and other things to let the vehicle run. So I'll save the ECU as donor, which is HJMK as donor. Then I'll write the, ori uh, the original one onto it. Then I'll verify to make sure I'm having the right data or the right information that I need. So with this one, I'll wait for it to write the data. And you can see the VIN. The VIN is the one that starts with the ZAC. I'll rewrite it again to verify. So what I'm going to do is I'll reopen the software. Then I can read the EEPROM data and make sure I'm having the exact VIN and everything. Because I was having issue reading it on the vehicle. So I don't want any surprises. Maybe the EEPROM is secure that you can read anything on it so with this one what i'll do is i'm going to read it again and save it to my yes uh, i've read it again and i'll save it after so that i can compare i can compare the data so now that i've read it again after writing it i'll, I'll save it and so now that I've read it again after writing the data on it, I'll save it and do and save the name after. Then I'll compare it with the original one to make sure that I'm having the exact EEPROM data on the EEPROM now. So let me compare the files of the two EEPROMs. So compare the original and the after. So you can see there is no difference in it and they are the same. So there is no difference in it and both of them are the same. So now what I'll do is um, I'm going to read it again to verify. That's the most important thing to verify. So let me open it and rewrite it again. So let me rewrite the data again onto it then now i know that i have the right eprom data on my eprom which is uh, m95128w so you can see now i'm having the vin number in it so now i can call it done and i rewrite it again so now i'll do the right and verify so this is where the issue comes in but the most important thing is the vein has changed. That, that, that's the most important thing, that the vein has changed. And even if there is any error, the vein has changed. So now, what I'll do is uh, I'll try and read it and verify. So let me close the app and because it has not been able to write it perfectly, then what I'll do is I'll connect it by bench and verify the VIN in it. If that's the correct that's the correct VIN of the vehicle, then I call it a fix. So as at now that I know everything is done perfectly and I have no issues. It's done perfectly and I have no issues. So during the verification process, that's where I get the error. So I'll call it a fix. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So this one we are done and now i know i have no issue with the epom again after checking it on bench everything is working perfectly so i just have to go and place it on the vehicle and start the most important thing is the vein some of the jeeps you need to change the vein for the security light to stop blinking so that's the most important thing thank you for watching thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for